Ask Reddit by Grohl Scenario 7. In what way has technology backfired? I used to look at a screen for an hour in a day to get a break from the real world. Nowadays I am going to the real world for an hour to get a break from looking at screens. I'm so bored with these feeds and posts today. I think I might look around at other people and things. The oligopoly of technology companies, i.e. Meta, Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple. The internet used to be so much more decentralized. When I was a kid at the turn of the millennium I really thought we were approaching a shining future where technology, largely the internet, gave us a platform and a means to achieve understanding, equality and acquisition of knowledge. A place of free expression. I was so hopeful and so fucking naive. It's become a bland electronic suburb, commodified and monopolized like everything else. Dominated by a few businesses that stifle creativity and encourage the monetization and inshitification of everything. It's become a bastion of misinformation, disinformation and hate. It's given rise and supremacy to bland influencers and conveniently dosed clips of entertainment. It's ruined the ability to focus and be patient for millions upon billions. There was something there when the internet was decentralized. A spark of possibility, as horrible and unsafe as the internet could be early on. The fact that now ads can pop out and annoy you in so many more places now. Deleted. There is really no such thing as straight news reporting anymore. It is all editorial commentary. I think that, the Associated Press, AP, HTTPS colon slash slash, app news, dot com, slash closed bracket is still the best source of objective reporting that still values and showcases journalistic integrity. We've completely destroyed our ability to actually socialize and amp, converse with one another in person. The amount of younger individuals I try and speak to in an office setting that are completely incapable of holding a conversation or talking in a professional manner, is insane. We've spent so much time in front of screens that we've lost the ability to just communicate in person. Nailed it. Every student at the school I teach at has a Chroma book that they do all their work on and I think it's been an unmitigated disaster. There's no way to easily go back but the kids are a mess compared to even 10 years ago at the same school. We've dumped down the curriculum considerably and our counselors are massively overworked because none of them have social skills anymore. I'd argue that the presence of tech in the classroom is a case of correlation without causation. Degeneration of the curriculum is more a result of the overemphasis on state-mandated benchmarks that came along with funding requirements in NCLB than anything else. Furthermore parental supervision is more strictly mandated than it ever was, resulting in kids who aren't allowed to develop any sense of independence. The days of kids running around with their friends after school are over, because their parents would wind up with CPS called on them for allowing it. I'm not trying to download an app to every restaurant out there to save one dollar on a burger here and there. Social media. It has brought us too close and too far away at the same time. Social media destroyed anonymity. If you want to find out something about someone, just find their Facebook, Insta, Twitter, and whatever else. Friend them on all the things and you know everything about them. And if you don't have any of these, you're a weirdo or hiding something. Ah, we will backfire. That's why some of the top army engineers have quit. The way it's going, human decision making will be removed. If only there were many, many, many science fiction stories to warn us. Indeed, the pursuit of efficiency has become a double-edged sword. We've engineered social platforms to connect more dots than a child's puzzle book, yet it seems we've lost the plot ourselves. Now, People claim they have 500 friends yet can't name a pal who'd help them move a couch. Our social fabric isn't so much woven as it is pixelated into a series of likes, shares, and fleeting digital interactions. Human bonds were never meant to be swipeable commodities. With every tap on a screen, we lose a beat in the rhythm of genuine human interaction a slow march from community to algorithmically directed camaraderie. 
it's ironic that amidst this age of connectivity, loneliness has become our most shared experience. Thanks for weighing in, chat GPT. It's given really dumb people access to places where they can make their voice loud and heard. It's no longer just some crazy woman on the street corner shouting bizarre things it's that same crazy woman posting online where she meets other equally crazy men and women who due to their disorders are easily manipulated into feeling the same way and then creating a bizarre society out of it all centered around basically a shared delusion. The WWW has enabled the biggest, most uneducated morons to form a worldwide network of hateful right wing BS. Many often and deliberately choose ignorance and misinformation. It used to be we sought out reputable, credible sources and sought out wisdom from knowledgeable people. Social media, and tech in general, whose stated purpose is to connect people, has pretty much destroyed our ability to start a conversation with strangers. When you are in a public place, everybody just looks at their phones. I imagine they used to at least try talking to each other. It was supposed to bring people together, no not those people, shit no not them either, fuck stop putting the most fucked up people together internet. Climate change, the internal combustion engine, fossil fuel power plants, and factories are killing off our wrecker system. Sad to note, but automation and artificial intelligence have increased efficiency in many industries but they've also resulted in job displacement and concerns about the future of work for many individuals. But it'll create jobs in decades, but you'll starve today. Computers were supposed to dramatically reduce the workforce. Instead it was born and became huge and continues to grow. Can't wait for RE to reduce the workforce. While advancements in communication technology have connected people around the world, they've also led to issues like cyberbullying, invasion of privacy, and the spread of misinformation. Reading and Comprehension We used to read the papers, books, manuals and understand instructions or sequence of events. Technology presents us with real life up to the minute happenings on video. Often the clips are out of context or even staged. When I was really young, the internet was just getting established. I was maybe 9 at the time. I remember thinking, we all now have endless knowledge. However, that seemed to not be the reason of its use lol. It's made the general population dumber. The internet made it easier and much less riskier for members of fringe groups with abhorrent views and tastes to find each other. It's also made it much easier for those groups to lure in new members. Fossil fuels are destroying the world and our future. Is there anything worse than this? Thermonuclear weapons. Self-checkouts. 